joining me right now, Angela Vitale. Her daughter was killed in the crash with a parolee. Angela, thank you for being with us. Thank you. I, I, it, it doesn't even seem real to me. And I'm on the outside looking in. Tell me how you learned about this horrific crash. Well, everybody's nightmare. I happened to be um, at home at the time, and I watched TV, and the news came on, and I thought, there's a scene of the car accident, and I thought that was looked like my daughter's car. No sooner did that show on, on the news, I got a phone call from my other daughter saying that there was a horrific accident. I called their dad, and um, he told me she was killed in the car accident. And um, I just couldn't believe it. I asked him if that was the ones on TV, and he had no clue. Um, my daughter didn't have any clue. None of us, we didn't learn of it until hours later after it happened. They didn't come to her husband's door until like 3, 30, 4 o'clock. The accident happened at 10, which is mortifying that my daughter lay there without our knowledge. My daughters were texting her just on a normal daily basis, trying to talk to her with no response. It's just horrible. Everyone, joining me right now is Angela Vitale, her daughter, the newlywed bride, killed in this horrific car crash with a man, a repeat offender, who has gotten out, gotten out, gotten out after one home invasion after the next, blasting into people's homes, armed. He tells the parole board that he will take a violence prevention class and they let him walk. And now she is dead. Her mother sees this scene, this crash scene on TV and says, wow, that looks like Francesca's car. It's only hours later that she learns it is Francesca's car.